if you know the way broadly, you will see it in all things. One of the things that really helped me see the connections between leadership and tactics and human nature and life in general was jujitsu. Jujitsu is a simple, straightforward, practical representation of the way. If you think about what, it, what jujitsu has in it, right? It has offense, it has defense, it has flanking, it has conservation of energy, it has deception, it has attack, it has concentration of effort, it has position, improving your position, it has maneuvering, it has placing baits and using feints, and always keeping your base and keeping your balance while at the same time trying to upset your opponent's and there's psychological elements inside of jujitsu as well that are reflected. You know, it's not, you're gonna get a belt. It doesn't fully represent the reality of the situation. The reality of the situation is the truth. And in jujitsu, you know the truth. You're gonna be vulnerable. You're gonna, you know, psychologically, you're gonna learn about tenacity. You're gonna, you're gonna have to have grit. You're gonna have to have durability. You're gonna have to have stability. And as I trained jiu-jitsu and I garnered a better understanding of jiu-jitsu, I started to have a better understanding of the way. And as I learned the way on the mats, the way revealed itself in combat, it revealed itself in leadership, in human nature, and in life. As you understand things from different angles right so when you learn the way in different disciplines you start to see it from different angles and eventually I came to understand the way broadly and now I do see it in everything I've set my mind on the science of martial arts since my youth long ago. I was 13 years old when I had my first duel. On that occasion, I won over my opponent, a martial artist named Arima Kihi of the New School of Accuracy. At 16 years of age, I beat a powerful martial artist called Akiyama of the Tajima province. When I was 21, I went to the capital city and met martial artists from all over the country. Although I engaged in numerous duels, never did I fail to attain victory. After that, I traveled from province to province, meeting martial artists of the various schools. Although I dueled more than 60 times, never once did I lose. That all took place between the time I was 13 years old and the time I was 29. When I had passed the age of 30 and reflected on my experiences, I realized that I had not been victorious because of consummate attainment of martial arts. Perhaps it was because I had an inherent skill for the science and had not deviated from natural principles. It may also been due to the shortcomings in the martial arts of other schools. In any case, I subsequently practiced day and night in order to attain an even deeper principle and spontaneously came upon the science of martial arts. I was about 50 years old at that time. Since then, I have passed the time with no science into which to inquire, trusting in the advantage of military science as I turned it into the sciences of all arts and skills. I have no teacher in anything. Now, in composing this book, I have not borrowed the old sayings of Buddhism or Confucianism. 
nor do I make use of old stories from military records or books on military science. With heaven and, and cannon for mirrors, I take up the brush and begin to write at 4 a.m. on the night of the 10th of the 10th month, 1643.